Hello everyone, my name is Master Summerian and welcome back for more Let's Play Super Smash Brothers. Last time, we cleared through the one player game as Yoshi and unlocked the Dream Child Ness. Probably not the greatest way of describing him, but Ness is a very quirky character that we'll get to at a way later on date because for right now, it's time for the Pink Puffball. And it's time to crank this difficulty up too very hard because I am nuts. <laughs> so, Kirby is my favorite character in this game, by a smidge, I should stress. I like Yoshi a lot as well. Yoshi was my main for a long time, but Kirby just barely inches him in some ways, I think, for me. Um, you can see his alt here. He's kind of similar to Yoshi in the sense where he's got a blue, a yellow, and a red alt there. Very much similar to a lot of other characters, I guess, as well. But, yeah, now, why I say that he's my main is that, <sighs> kind of just as things went, like, kind of just as I played this game as I got older, like, some of my friends were kind of into the competitive scene, which I never really was one for that sort of thing, and, um, if we ever really played this game, I found out that Kirby has some really, really busted abilities. I think he's seen as, like, second to Pikachu, I think, in the Smash 64 tier list. Not that this game's designed, really, with being competitive. In mind! I should not have lived that! Holy crap! That's one other thing I like about Kirby, is that he has easily the best recovery in this game. He has five jumps, which is a slight nerf from how he feels in regular Kirby. He has his trademark copy ability, where he can basically copy the ability of any fighter he fights against. Um, his up B is the final cutter ability from Sword Kirby. Actually, I know they gave it to Sword later on. But that was an amazing mirror, I think, which was after, like, in between melee and wall. I guess that would have been based on Cutter's, like, attack from Superstar, but it's, um, it's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, I guess, kind of what that was, like, based on, but that, I believe, is kind of what that was based on. His downbeat is based on Stone Kirby. And it's just a really powerful attack. It's similar to Yoshi's down special as well. Uh, Yoshi's up air is also a really good crowd clear move as well. Just kind of does a mid air spin there. And yeah, I think that's it for Kirby specials there. Um, because yeah, side specials weren't a thing at this point in the series. But other than that, the main thing that makes him so broken as I was trying to demonstrate in the Link fight, but not to very good effect, it's his down aerial. It is... <laughs> Which, this is not a good fight to demonstrate that, unfortunately, but... Can you stop with your annoying aerials here, please? Okay, that should get him there, I think. He just knew. He just knew. Oh, that's a pretty cute pose. Alright, break the targets. Some of you guys may remember, but, um, I've actually done a couple of videos with this game with, uh, Kirby already. Um, there was a video I did where I played the one-player game of this literally blindfolded, with somebody kind of guiding me through, and that was 
an interesting experience, to say the least. And I also, kind of more recently, I played this game as part of a charity marathon called the Stack Game Marathon. Uh, I actually played this game with, um, <laughs> wearing oven mitts. Which was another interesting experience. And now I'm just playing this game on... very hard because I've lost control of my life here. Hello, hello. I miss, I miss the days when Luigi's voice was literally just the same as Mario's, but a slightly higher pitch. I got the good friend bonus. Okay, now, moment of truth. On very hard, can Pikachu self-destruct here? I don't know if there's like a certain spot you need to stand for that to work or not, but yes, keep wasting that laser gun. I can keep doing this all day, you know. You know what? I might be able to make do with this here, though. Maybe not with this Starmie in the way. <laughs> God, Pikachu, why? <laughs> Pikachu just does the dumbest things. I love that battle. Right, now we got giant Donkey Kong here. Kirby's kind of similar to Yoshi in some ways in that his down air does do repeated damage, but, um, I don't think it's quite as, like, powerful as Yoshi's, except in the sense that it spikes, which I don't think I've really gone into that mechanic too much here, and I'm still not getting a chance to show it off, and I have board the platforms up next, damn it. Kirby's board the platform sucks. I'm just gonna say that straight up front. Like Yoshi and Samus before, this is one of the worst in the game, and for similar reasons to Yoshi, it's all this freaking jump here right at the start. Ugh, I hate this part so much. You gotta, like, run out and stone ability, like, as soon as this shows up. It is such a tight window. Like that there. That's the hardest part of that. Um, the rest of this isn't really a slouch, but it's not, like, that much worse than that, I don't think. Some jumps are a little stingy. I think if you miss that one, you might just die because you'll, like, slide off the ledge there. That can kind of suck. Um. <sighs> okay, got that. Okay, we got this. Whew. That one is really, really obnoxious as well. It's funny that I've only messed up Samus's and not the part I thought I would mess up at. Anyways, Three, two, one, go! 
This fight can be really, really bad on very hard. Kind of just relying on Kirby's neutral air to get rid of some of these guys, because it has, like, deceptively strong knockback against these guys. That went way smoother than I thought it would have, actually. That's kind of surprising there. I swear to god, if I get a Null Miss on very hard, I'm gonna be shocked. That's not gonna happen, because there's no way in hell I'm getting to fighting Polygon team without dying, but... I always like Samus Kirby. Probably just because I always like... I also had that kind of opportunity there as well. I'm trying to land the freaking down air just to show kind of how strong of an attack it is, but it more or less. <sighs> if I don't get a chance to show it off here, um. Which I didn't. Um, yeah, the, the, a spike is basically... Uh, there's, I'm gonna try and see if I can remember this right. There's a spike and a meteor smash. And I think it's an example of all meteor smashes are spikes, but not all spikes are meteor smashes. And I think the difference is basically, like... If you hit a character, usually with a down air, but sometimes other attacks can do this as well, um, it has a chance of sending them straight down, which in a game like this can often result in, like, basically an instant death. Why am I getting so much knockback here from this guy? What the heck? Like, 82 is not low percent, but it's not, like, it shouldn't be knocked around, like, this much of a ragdoll here, just from this here. Okay, the fan actually, okay, maybe it's just the stage is an incredibly strange blast line here, that could also be it there. that. Come on, let's do some damage with this here now. Come on. That's Kirby's spike there. Um, it may not look like that, but I just screwed his recovery up a lot and sent him basically straight down with that. Um, he was not able to recover from that. Not just because his damage or because he was Metal Mario, but, like, no characters can really recover from that attack. I might do, like, a quick, like, training thing after this, just kind of show it off here, what I mean. But, yeah, it's a deceptively BS attack, and it's one of the few that can kill... It could, like, straight up take down a person at, like, 0%, because the recovery just isn't able to come out fast enough. So... Yeah, it's something that makes Kirby a lot more of a threat in this game than most other Smash games. On top of just having a really great recovery and just being really solid overall. I'm just gonna try and spin the spin attack here, cause... Uh, you might have seen the... Um... This polygon here that's attacking me with that yo, -yo attack there. Um, that is Ness's polygon there. I think Ness and Mario use very similar... Like, model data. Despite having very different abilities, Ness is not... Like, ever really considered a clone of Mario, but... I think in this game, they kind of, like, 
kind of sort of consider Mar like Ness a little bit of a Mario clone, even though Luigi's already a thing in this game. Just because the models were so similar. Thank you, hit on me. This fight is rough. I'm not surprised this is where I would have died at, because on very hard especially, this is the worst fight in the game. Should be using the storm attack more than I have to. I'm shocked I lived that. <sighs> Damn, I didn't get a chance to throw the capsule there. This fight is legitimately incredible. Incredibly tough on Harry Bird. Like, I'm not surprised that this is where I finally started dying, because this fight would be the thing that would screw you out of anything on Harry Bird. Fortunately, I got a hammer, so I can start actually doing some collateral damage here. Oh, jeez, I need that. Screw you, Donkey Kong. And we got a cute pose to finish that off, although the camera didn't really help that too much. Cheap shot my ass. Cheap shot my ass game. Alright, one more fight left. Um, Master Hand himself, he doesn't really change that much in this game. Like, I think like, based on his difficulties. I think he might be able to do more damage, but, like, he's not that hard of a fight. It's not like in later Smash games where he'll have more health and sometimes even an entirely different boss, depending on, like, how much higher your difficulty is. I still like this fight, though, a lot. Like, this is always kind of... As easy as it is, it's always kind of being the iconic Master Hand fight for me. And again, I really love this song a lot, and it's a shame that it was never really... It wasn't brought back until Ultimate, and it really deserves to be up there with the greats. I think it's... I think it's honestly up there with Brawl's Final Destination theme for one of the best in the series. But... With all that, that is it for one player game is Kirby there. Very hard clear in Speed King. Have we gotten Speed King every single game here, I think? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we did, because it's a pretty standard achievement to get, but... Yeah. And I don't think we're going to get the WoW Incredible thing here, but... It's... Oh, we did. Okay. That's it for beating it on very hard there. Um, yeah, it's just basically for getting over a set amount here. Anyways, I just want to show you kind of just how busted Kirby's recovery can be on certain situations. Let's go... Let's just go on Dreamland, I guess. Okay, Samus was facing the wrong way there, but you see just why that, like, why that attack, Kirby's down here, just kind of breaks most fighters, because almost nobody can really recover from that except Kirby, Jigglypuff, and I think Pikachu as well, maybe? But, yeah... Anyways, next time, we're going to be playing through as one of the other bounty hunters in this game. 
Good old Fox McCloud, who was at the height of his career and sadly never really got further than that. For in Smash Brothers, he got further, but like at the height of his gaming career, uh, Star Fox was kind of never gonna be replicated again. I'll see you guys for that then, though. Peace out.